speaker of parliament. Professor Aram Michael Quay, Chief of Staff. Ministers of State present. Deputy Ministers present. Chiefs of Chiefs and Elders of Ochihini and Mountain for Republic present. My Premier Lana, another chief present from Taiwan. MDP representatives, MDC representatives, diplomatic corps, another dignitary is present. Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you the warmest greetings from the Dagon, from the Dagon's case. Yeah, I think we can get it. One after, Joel Majesty, Samuel Amotia of Free Penning, invited me to this great change and traditional state of Ashim Abuapa as a special guest of honor at this grand occasion. My people and I gladly accepted to honor it. Largely out of our respect, we achieve a powerful state, and I determined role in promoting the ethnic harmony and coexistence in Ghana. Therefore, I'm in this historic town of Chile with the 500 man royal delegation then the people of Abuaka celebrate this milestone with my brother, the Sajifu Amotia of Ripan. A sad woman, the Almighty has brought you. The fact that we are celebrating your 20th anniversary today manifests the grace of God upon your reign as the chosen one for the people of Ajim Abuakwa. There is no gain saying that your reign has brought about remarkable improvement in the lives of your people and the Ajim Abuakwa state. In your coronation speech 30 years ago, on the 11th of October 1990, I wrote, I quote, the success of my reign is dependent totally on my ability as your leader to ensure that our future, our children is really secure. Coronation speech, the quote, 11th October 1999. It is not for nothing that the, that the 1992 constitution defines the role of chieftaincy in the development of the country. Article 272 outlines the role and functions of the National House of Chiefs. However, today in Ghana, various governments seem to have robbed the traditional rulers of most of their powers. Yet traditional rulers have critical role to play in the mobilization of the people and partnering the government to build the nature. Now that we have well-educated traditional rulers, it is imperative for the government to access the, the express views of traditional rulers on matters of national interest besides parliament. The National House of Chiefs should not be seen as a mere appendage of governance, only to be consulted after an afterthought. Let's ask the government to consult the Council of State in great relief in certain cases, so should the National House be accorded similar recognition. Conversely, as custodians of our traditional values and cultural norms, it's imperative for traditional rulers to uphold our fighting responsibility for all and some. That is why we must, more than ever, share our partisan political gaps and put on our caps of wisdom when it comes to controversial issues that could, that could put the nation asunder. It's imperative for traditional rulers to close their ranks in order to deny their peoples towards Ghana's ultimate goal of 
freedom is just irrespective of their ethnicity. How best to do this and to and to promote brotherly love and understanding among us. Such as has been done by Sajiko Amot here for the panel through my invitation to grace this occasion. The re recent historic visit of the Argentine to this kingdom was a great example of our modern tendency to contribute to national unity in the world. This is a progressive step towards unity and diversity. It is important, it's also important to educate ourselves on our various cultures, build on our varied strengths, and help one another to eliminate any weaknesses among us that are detrimental to the development of our people and the nation. As we are aware of the divisive political forms by some politicians who seek to escalate the ethnic economy this question also goes to the youth who should be circumspect about the utterances and machinations of the ambitious politicians who are very confounding, federating their political aspirations at all costs. Proposal for consideration. When I look at the people assembled here, I can say without any fear of contradiction that they represent all the structure of the Ghanaian populace. Farmers, fishermen, captains of, the, of industry, business executives, politicians, academia, security personnel, civil and public servants, press as well as politicians and green miners. So, so that's so big. I want to make two proposals of consideration of the people of Ghana, especially the government. What? It is high time Ghana amended its constitution to replace the present Council of State with a Senate of Senate or Upper House, call it what you may, composed of prominent chiefs, distinguished Ghanaian men. And women with power to consider certain bills before parliament. Such Senate will be appointed authority for positions such as the Auditor General, Inspector General of Police, the Chairperson and members of the Electoral Commission, Vice Chancellors of State Universities, and Executive Head of the National Media Commission. The appointment of the heads of these five vital institutions by the President has been a source of great disagreement between every ruling government and the opposition. This is not good for our modern democracy. When we transfer the power to appoint the heads of these institutions to the Senate, it will be good for our democracy. Two, it is time for Ghana to bring to an end the prevailing politics of the winner takes all. I endorse the call by Otu for a seat to the second. And other Ghanaians who have called for the termination of our win that takes all politics. I humbly urge the President of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Adudam Kwaakufado, to appoint a presidential commission to look into these two proposals and make appropriate recommendations. Sadi for a month here of Rupani at this juncture, it is our, it is not out of place to call on other traditional leaders to emulate their standing leaders and commitment to the development of the Achim Abakas and the Fasuna and the Seho. God give you the wisdom, foresight, and fortitude to carry your people to greater hands. Congratulations, Majesty.
Ah oui, c'est...